Yellowstone's biggest geological threat is not a supervolcano. This was an earthquake measuring 7 on the Richter scale. Yellowstone National Park while concerns about a potential supervolcano eruption beneath this iconic park may be the most alarming headlines, a more likely danger in the coming decades is a major earthquake. The biggest concern we have for Yellowstone is not with volcanoes, but with earthquakes, said Michael Poland, a scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory a consortium of eight organizations led by the U.S. Geological Survey. This is an underappreciated danger in the Yellowstone region. It is possible that an earthquake measuring 7 on the Richter scale will occur in the future. On average, Yellowstone experiences 1,500 to 2,500 earthquakes each year most of which are so small that they are not felt. However, large earthquakes can, and have, occurred in the not-too-distant future. On August 17, 1959, a 7.3 magnitude earthquake rocked the park, killing 28 people when a landslide hit the campground. More than 80 million tons of rock fell blocking the river and forming a lake, named Earthquake Lake, which still exists today. At the time, it was the second largest earthquake in the lower 48 states of the century. It remains the largest earthquake in history in the Intermountain West, the region between the Rocky Mountains to the east and the Cascade Range and Sierra Nevada to the west. Compared with a small eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano, the threat of a repeat earthquake of a similar scale is more likely. It's something that happens on the scale of a human lifetime, Poland said. But unlike volcanoes, large earthquakes show no warning signs. We can know where it will happen, but we can't know when. The danger posed by a major earthquake today would be greater than that which occurred almost 60 years ago due to the high flow of visitors, especially in the summer. More than 4 million people visit Yellowstone each year, with peak visits in July and August. It would be much worse right now if more people were in the area, said Jamie Farrell, a geology professor at the University of Utah. Yellowstone is located in a rural area with few roads. If one road is cut off, there will be major detours, Farrell said. If two roads are impassable, sometimes you can't even get there by car. The good thing is that Yellowstone is one of the best seismically monitored areas in the world, he said. More than 40 seismic stations owned by the University of Utah continuously record earth movements in and around the Yellowstone region and report them back to the National Park Service. Small earthquakes often shakes this park every day. But visitors wouldn't know it. The earthquake was so small that it could only be picked up by a seismograph. Scientists watched the earthquake closely, noting its time, location and depth. We're very aware of the potential, because this is a dynamic system, that we might want to move people out of an area or close an area," said Jeff Hungerford, a park geologist. The Yellowstone system has two main contributors to earthquakes. The volcanic system, which exerts pressure on the Earth's crust, and the tectonic system, represented here by areas of active stretching of the Earth's crust from east to west. Earthquakes also play an important role in helping keep geysers like Old Faithful rumbling. 
Besides large earthquakes that cause landslides and damage or collapse buildings and bridges, there are other dangers. They can trigger hydrothermal explosions, a mixture of hot water, mud and rock that can hurt people if they are nearby.